and it installs works and it installs the yeah. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, put it yeah, we can bias. Yeah. Okay. It's, it's been added. It's been added. You can scan this code with your So what do, you, what do you think that the future of iBeacons is? Well, there are lots of applications too much to enumerate in, uh, in this interview, I guess. But I think that uh, the basic field of application will be in uh, retail, uh, retail and asset tracking. I think that there are this great value uh, of existing solutions. Yeah, I think that we're good there. Okay. So we have uh, Edward, Miguel, and Luigi, who's behind me. And what we worked on was we wanted to prove that the iBeacon does work with Android. So we have a fairly simple implementation, but the point was to get it working and be able to show it to people so that other developers, other people here know their things they work on for their iOS applications will also translate over to Android. So we use the library from Radius Technologies, is that right? We use the library from Radius Technologies to get it working on our Android. There's nothing on oh, there. Oh boy, that's, <laughs> that's really exciting. <laughs> so we use, the, we use the library from Radius Technologies to get, it, uh, to get it connected into our Android application. And just to have a simple implementation, we wrote a little vote with your feet application where we put the Android guy down on one side and the iOS guy down on the other side of the hallway, and as we move back and forth, it tells where we're, uh, it tells who we're closest to. So we'll start by just, we'll get them on either sides, and we'll just move down towards the Android guy, the Apple guy, the progress bar updates. Oops. Let me, let's just reload, shall we? Okay. So it recognizes that we're down by the Apple guy right now. Yeah. And now, and you can see if you really care about the diagnostic info, we have the diagnostic and the metrics info showing up on the screen. As we approach the Android guy, we're voting and obviously getting closer to our Android. You see there's a little bit of jumping here. The next step is to add some smoothing and averaging in because the do numbers do jump up and down a little bit. So we just need to uh, apply some, some averaging and some smoothing into the measurements. That's it. Thanks Miguel and Luigi and Edward down there. <laughs> Very cool. What do you think that the uh, future of iBeacons is? Uh, yeah, I was there to say there's a great feature at it because it has a high uh, gadget value. You can do very nice things. Uh, you find examples of all the The one I like is uh, yeah, the, uh, creating guided tours in buildings. And to be able to do maps, map out a building. And, uh, yeah, for example, museum. If you if you wait at a meeting, uh, or let's say a certain period of time, you get automatically you get a notification that will give you information about the building. Uh, other things you can do in a building, just like a directory. If you come here to a lab, if you're looking for a specific company, and now sometimes you have to ask around. You just type the name of the company you want, and you'll be guided. Uh, Guided through the building, like uh, as Tom Tom uh, would do you for in the city. Like it, it, it goes where you are anytime and it can send you information 
It sounds great, but I still have to see it if it you know, really works smoothly and fluidly without me having to do anything as a user. And if, and if I think we can nail that, that the technology is needed for the, needed for the future, yeah, that you can have some interesting stuff. Because the whole uh, idea of getting information without scanning something, you know, if they want something on the nose right now, um, it makes it easier. See those devices on an iDevice and create uh, uh, an app and uh, show all those uh, devices. With that one, it uh, shows a complete list of all uh, those kind of uh, laying around here, about 10 of them. Here we can see the information about them, major minor number, the accuracy. What's the future might be? I'm not sure yet. So, Jonathan, please. Just, just a second. What do you see is the future of iBeacons? Well, it's the end of the world as we know it. <laughs>